Hey, what's happening everybody? Tonight, Jennifer and I are at a new restaurant to us on International Drive called Cafe Tutu Tango. They're taking part in a uh, program called Magical Dining, which is a program put on by Visit Orlando, where restaurants offer a separate magical dining menu, $37 per person. And in this particular case, we came to Cafe Tutu Tango. It is a tapas restaurant, and we're looking forward to trying some of the items off the menu. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the greatest show. She beautiful, everyone. What do you think of the menu so far? Have you looked? Yeah, I'm just trying to make a selection. So we got to choose five things. So should be interesting. Just um, some little fun facts about the Magical Dining and what it does for the Orlando area. It's $37 per person. They're donating a dollar of each meal that's um, served to the Pathlight Home and I uh, Dignity. Both of them are to combat homelessness here in the Orlando area. Magical dining experience, we've done it once before. We really enjoy it. It allows us to try several different little things throughout a restaurant that we may not necessarily visit. Um, they do tell you that um, to go on open table and make reservations and then let your hostess know that you're gonna do the Magical Dining Plan. Jen got her first course, the grilled fish tacos, which is honey lime escoviche, casito, cajito, or cajito cheese on corn tortillas. Fish tacos. All right, dig in. We got little plates for it. Wow. So you can see when we talk about tapas, these are these are small, but you know, a combined 10 courses that we're going to have tonight. I think it's enough food. <laughs> good, right? It is. And I don't like a lot of the stuff that's on it, so and it's good. It's got really good flavor. Um, onions are pretty strong, but I like onions, so that's It good. all goes together. But the, the flavoring of the fish is really, really good. All right, Jennifer's second course, she got the Southwest Caesar romaine avocado fried tortillas, that same uh, cojita cheese, salsa roja, and chipotle garlic dressing. Looks really yummy. <laughs> I might share. <laughs> Caesar. Mmm. Jen said it was spicy, and I didn't believe her. I've never had spicy Caesar salad. It's got a little kick to it. Like it's just a that chipotle garlic dressing. It's, south, it's the southwest part of it. Yeah. Here's my first course: the ceviche mixto. I don't really know if I can even describe what was written on this menu. It says Aji Amarillo, Leche de Tigre, Red Onions and Cilantro. I don't know what any of that really means. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat it and just assume it's good for me. Really, really, really spicy. Oh, let me set that down. Yeah, like you would be, yeah, the rest of your night would be ruined. Spicy. Good. I like it because I like spicy. The broth is really rich. You know, the, the seafood is it's, it's cooked in the acid of the, the, the lemon and the limes. All 
All right, my second course has gotten here, which is the jerk chicken skewers char grill with roasted pineapple salsa. It smells amazing. If you're a fan of jerk chicken, which I am, that is really, really good. It's spicy, it's warm, it's flavorful. It's everything you want from a, from a jerk chicken. You have to try this pineapple sauce. It's a perfect compliment for the spicy chicken. I have the sweet pineapple salsa. A little bit of onion in there. And some fresh herbs. Very, very good. All right, fourth course is here. Oh, excuse me, third course. So for my third course, I got the Tuscan meatballs. It's beef, pork, veal, Parmesan, San Marzano, tomato sauce, and bread. And Jen got the brick oven pepperoni pizza with San Marzano, tomato sauce, mozzarella, hand cut pepperoni, and oregano. Looks really good. And the meat is savory. The tomato sauce is amazing. This bread is, looks crunchy, but it's it's kind of soft, which is good because I like my garlicky bread soft. Oh my god! You'll thank me later. What's been your favorite so far? Everything's like everything's pretty spicy to me. Um, I just don't do I don't do spice at all, really. So maybe you're looking forward to dessert, unless they spice that up too. No. So far, the fish tacos have been my favorite. I mean, surprisingly, I'm not a fish taco person. Well, we are uh, we're three courses in. We still have two to go, and I have to say, I'm already pretty full. Um, uh, I'm not a quitter, so I'll keep going. <laughs> but uh, it's getting it's getting more difficult as we go along. Right. So Jen's fourth course has made it to the table. Uh, she got the butter chicken tikka masala, which is basmati rice, caramelized onions, roasted corn, and tikka masala sauce. This is also on their gluten-free menu. And then my final dish, or my fourth dish has arrived. I got the dynamite shrimp lettuce wraps, which is crispy shrimp, sweet chili aioli, Baby Jim lettuce and Asian slaw. It looks good. All right, so I'm trying Jin's tikka masala. If you don't know this about me, fun fact, Scott loves Indian food. And that's pretty good. I'm a big fan of tikka masala, butter chicken, uh, chicken korma. Um, anything vindaloo that's spicy, I like all of those. But that's a that's a really solid tikka masala butter chicken. The basmati rice is really really tasty. If you've had basmati before, it's got that sort of curry taste to it, but it's not overpowering, and um, it, it's it's really really good. Uh, Jen just had one of the uh, lettuce wraps. How was that? It was really good. Like having the, the butter lettuce really makes it. So, fourth course, Jen and I ended up switching. Um, I liked the butter chicken a little better, and she liked the dynamite shrimp a little better. So we just swapped. I mean, we've been sort of sharing the entire time, but when you have one that you love, particularly like, you know, the, the, the beauty of doing this kind of thing is that, you know, you could swap if you don't like something. Okay, it's been a long journey, but we finally made it to the final course. Jen got the uh, Nutella flan, and I got the triple chocolate cake pops. I don't know who got the better deal here. They both look fantastic. How's the flan? It's the best course yet. Yeah, it's definitely gonna help with the mouth on fire. 
the blonde's better than the cake box. I would rate the blonde about a seven, and the cake box for about a five. Not great, but good. Let's talk about for a second Tutu Tango. What did you think? What was your overall impression? Um, it's a very interesting place. So it's it's definitely um, if you sit at your table, you eat, you get up, and you walk out, you didn't experience it. Yeah. So I, I mean, it's definitely something that um, you go into, and like really, I mean, like while you're waiting on your table, if you had to wait. You know, you could definitely like shop the art because all the art, from my understanding or what I saw, was for sale. So anything that was on the wall right. was for sale. Yeah, it's a very bohemian kind of place. It, um, um, it's very varied in the menu. It's the, all the food I had today was good. The only thing I wasn't crazy about was my little cake pops at the very end, but that was just because that's a personal taste thing. It was made like really dark chocolate, which is a little bitter for me. Um, but everything else I enjoyed, some of it was too spicy for Jen. Yeah. So beware, because I think most of the things that she had, I would not have imagined would have been spicy, but they were. So I think, you know, the, they have a little heavy hand with the spice, which again, for me is a good thing for her, not so much. Um, they did have a tarot reader in the restaurant. They did have a uh, Michael Jackson um, impersonator. impersonator. <laughs> uh, the music would come on and he'd come dancing around the restaurant dressed as Michael Jackson, yeah. lip syncing. So that was fun. Um, yeah, I, it definitely is a place that I want to go back to. Definitely. I mean, like, that's not a one and done for me at all. I mean, thank you guys for coming along tonight. We're going to uh, postpone the rest of our plans for this evening. But uh, we will be back. If never lost, never found. <laughs> so don't get lost. <laughs>